good evening y'all and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome welcome oh shit <laughs> hold on welcome to my channel y'all must fail I'm on, my feet is on this chair but it's okay i've been drinking a little bit because mom it ain't easy okay i've been sipping a little bit of wine and i'm feeling good i'm feeling myself but as you guys can tell by the title i'm just basically gonna drop some tips on how to get and keep a man and it's not really more so how to get a man because it's easy to get a man right it's easy to get anything but keeping it is the thing so if you are new to my channel make sure you like comment and subscribe definitely subscribe come on now am i that ugly <laughs> yeah i don't act like this on a regular i am tipsy okay that's sweet red ain't nothing to play with but I'm still good enough to be a parent, you know? I know my limits. But if you're new to my channel, I said that already. Just make sure you subscribe. And I'm about to jump into the video. Okay. So, as you guys know, some may know, we have two beautiful kids together. We've been, we started dating since 2013. But enough about me. It's not about me. All right. My tip to you guys, rule number one don't be so boring like you have to like be spontaneous here and there you have to spice things up too okay you can't always just depend on the dude to do that it goes both ways if you feel like you've been in a relationship for a long time put on some lingerie sometimes get sexy girl put on your little red lipstick do your little edges get cute send him some of them pictures he gonna be trying to rush in the house girl to set that damn lingerie off you let me tell you that's no lie cook cook for your man i can't stress that enough if you don't cook for him someone else will cook babe what you want what you want what you want whatever he say just cook especially if he paying the bills you know keeping you happy girl keeping you glowing you can pay, you can cook him a little nice meal here and there you know what i'm saying another thing don't be a hoe <laughs> It might sound funny, but don't have a dude thinking he can't trust you because of your... Like, whatever you did in the past, that's fine. But if y'all dating and you know you're serious with this guy, don't be... If you know you're not going to just talk to him and only him, that's fine. But don't think a man going to save you if he, know, if he know how you are. You just jumping from wood to wood. You know what I'm saying? No man not going to say, girl, they is not going to save you, okay? <laughs> Another thing, um, what's another thing? Just be yourself. Like, you don't have to try to overplay anything. Just be yourself. If a man love you, it's going to come naturally, baby, okay? Don't be all geeking and chasing and doing all that extra stuff because that is not needed, boo. I'm going to tell you that right now. You don't have to do all that. You don't have to chase what's already yours, baby, okay? Just be yourself. Be the mother. Be the girlfriend. Be the fiance. Be the wife. Be who you are, baby. Because if a man loves you, he loves you, baby. And nothing and nothing or nobody can change that. And that's from what? Murray Little Lamb. What else? Y'all got to bear with me. He is bugging. This wine is bugging. It's not a game. But um, he wants some breasts right now. But it's not, it's not the time for that right now. Um, what else? Girl, people always think sex keep a dude. I mean, sex might get a dude, but that is not the only thing that's going to keep a dude, okay? You can have the best stuff in the world, but if your other traits are ugly, or if you just not what a man want, baby, that is not gonna, that's not the only thing that's going to keep a man, baby. I'm going to just tell you that right now. I mean, I'm just happy to have both, but um, it's not going to keep a man. And um, don't be all geeking. Text and call a thousand times just... Babe, I mean, you know, if that's your dude, you can do what you want, baby, okay? If that's your husband, by any means, do what you want. But you want to be mindful. You don't want to be all pressed and on his line. Girl, be mean. Girl, niggas, when you be mean, something about you being mean, girl, they be all on you. I don't know what it is. But, uh-uh. What, what you say? No, nah, I ain't eat. Girl, they gonna love that. I don't know why. They be all on you when you mean child. Do, do that here and there. Do that here and there. Don't be so old. I mean, 
You don't always gotta be mean, but tell me. Let them know. Baby, baby, baby. You can get some breasts, but can you wait? Yeah, y'all, so what else? I'm just trying to think of everything because I mean, yeah. Don't, and y'all, another thing, another important, important, important fact. Hold on, y'all. So yeah, the most important fact that I was gonna tell you guys, do not let your family and friends get into your relationship, honey. Let me just tell you that right now. Please don't, however they feel and think about your man, that's their business. Have you guys seen Acrimony? The second time he wasn't even cheating on this girl, y'all. But she let her family get in her head and she ruined the good thing. Do not let that be y'all. Like, that's one thing I had to realize. I cannot let my family, friends, nobody get into my head. Don't. I don't care. Whatever. If, even if it is right and they say I told you so, deal with that at the end. But you don't let them get into your head, baby. Because let me just tell you, <laughs> don't do it. They don't always have your best interest. And it's not worth it. Love your man, baby. Deal with your man. And whatever comes after that is just what comes after that. But don't listen to what nobody say. Don't do that. No. Forget them. They're not in your relationship. I'm sorry. That's just, that's a big, big, big key to remember. You let people in your relationship on that boat, it's going to sink. Don't let people in on your relationship. Do what's best for you. Do what makes you happy. At the end of the day, ain't nobody sitting in the house not eating because their appetite messed up but you. Ain't nobody sitting here thinking this barber lady because they don't know what's, what you out there doing but you. So if whatever's making you happy, no matter what's hurting you too at the end of the day, you have to deal with that. Don't worry about what family or friends are saying in your ear because they're not the one that's there dealing with whatever you're going through. And that's just what I'm going to tell you on that one. Another thing, y'all, I need to practice what I preach on this one. And it's fine. You cannot nag a man. I'm getting better, though, y'all. I'm getting better. Don't nag a man because I notice when I nag him, he gets irritated and stuff like that. A man will really distance himself because if you nagging him and another woman is being his peace, who he going to go to? The woman that's being his peace. Don't no man want nobody that's nagging him 24-7. I'm still working on that, though. You know what I'm saying? Because what you mean? What you mean you're not? What you mean you about to come in the house? What time is it? Where you at? Uh, who you around? Yeah. All that. But you can't do that. I'm learning. I'm getting better. Just trusting what he say. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we just don't nag a man, y'all. I think that irritates them more than anything. Because when they're around their friends, y'all don't understand. They probably be like, no, she irritating. She keep nagging me. She keep she throwing me off. <laughs> you don't have to talk about me, baby, because I'm not up to nag you no more. Let me just let you know that. But, yeah, y'all, don't nag them. Because if you nagging them and they got a girl that's just so nice and being a peace, they're going to run to their peace before they run to the toxic nagging girl. I just feel like that. I'm not saying it's 100% true. I just feel like that, okay? So, yeah, don't nag a man. Another thing, y'all, communication. Communication is key, y'all. If you feel some type of way, because <laughs> I used to do this, I, like, basically add him to my close friends, just him and just make a little pose just so he can get it. But it's really not all about that, y'all. Communication. Whatever you feeling, you feel like he don't spend enough time. You feel like it's something he doing that you you he need to tighten up on. Communicate with him. Now I just like text him and leave him a message. Just te communicate. Communication goes a long way, y'all. Y'all be surprised when you real life communicate and they really respond. I can say, okay, babe, I'm going to work on this. So I was thinking that too. You'll be surprised how the outcome is. Just communicate. That's a big, big, big thing in a relationship that a lot of people don't do. And that's why a lot of relationships fail because lack of communication. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> this might not be a big thing to a lot of people, but my man can't stand this. Don't be friendly. Don't be overly friendly with his friends or his... Don't... Dudes don't like females that's so friendly. If, if he feel like he could take you somewhere around his friends... And you just keep on talking and doing just front overly friendly dudes and look at you inside. I like, damn, what if I'm not here? What would you do? Don't be overly friendly in a 
relationship. I'm telling y'all because I know I don't like my dude over friendly. Like, it's okay. I'm not insecure. Like, you could speak. You could speak. But what makes a female feel insecure is when they be like, oh, my dude wouldn't do this and then he do that. Like, it's okay. You can speak. You can be friendly. You could be nice. You could be... But, baby, we don't want no friendly old dudes that just... No. I feel like a female feel like she can get up on you. No. Don't be so friendly. And I think dudes like the same thing. They don't like friendly females that they feel like any dude can get up on a female. I know that for a fact. This is my last thing, y'all, before I leave. Do not take a man's ego from him. Do not embarrass him or humiliate him in front of your friends or family. Make him feel small. Make him feel like he's not a man. I had to learn that. My mom told me that. She kept saying, you cannot take a man's ego. No matter if you're mad, if you argue with him, do that in private. Don't, don't do that in front of your family or friends. You cannot take a man's ego from him. That will make him just look at you in a whole another complete way. So, these are just the tips that <laughs> I did. It's not really nothing. Like, I mean, if a man loves you, he's going to love you. It's not really like you have to. It's not like nothing that you really train to do. Like, I'm about to just go to, I'm about to train and to, to love her. No, it really comes naturally. A man have to feel like they love you. Um, like I said, I've been with my man since 2013. We have two beautiful kids, y'all. I have a beautiful, beautiful ring, y'all. And it really be dancing like if the flash was on. I'm just going to tell y'all that right now. But he loved me and I love him. I mean, I, I would hope so. And you just got to use these tips and take heed to these tips, y'all. But if you, thank you so much for watching my channel. If I left out anything, I'm always open to do a part two. Because there just be a thousand things going on in my mind. And I can't think of everything at once. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.